All right, so I'm fixing to take the box blade off of that Ford tractor. We're gonna hook it up to this disc. I got some some ruts I want to fix in the hay field and some work I want to get done. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this old disc fixed up. <sighs> see, see in there that's kind of messed up. All these blades are loose. Come over here, that blade's loose. Missing part of the U-bolt right there. So uh, we're gonna get it hooked up to the tractor. This is messed up here. Get it hooked to the tractor. Get up there by the shop. Get it lifted in the air. We'll see what all exactly needs to be done. We'll see if local tractor supply has the parts or if I got a water parts. All right, so I do not know the name brand on this disc or anything like that, but so this whole set of gangs right here is loose. Each one of these gangs is a little loose. So this bolt right here needs to be tightened. Well, it's, it's bottomed out on the thread. So I'm gonna pull it off, make a spacer, put a spacer in there. And then uh, you can tell she used to be welded to that. And they're all broke loose so what I'm probably gonna do is save some money I'm going to tighten this up real nice and then weld each one of these discs back I think how they used to be so I remember when I was a kid I got this from my dad when I was a kid this disc worked pretty well and now it doesn't work worth a worth a dang anymore so uh which part of the reason is because his discs spin, they don't spin together. And this blade, this blade over here is about to fall all the way off. So we're gonna get it working again. We need a disc up gills pasture. Got some hay fields I want to do some work on. We'll get it working. All right, I got the nut off of this side. Before I find a spacer to tighten that up, I'm gonna go ahead and take this inside and weld that up just to make it a little easier for me and hopefully I got something if not I'll have to go buy something to make a spacer with all right so I got both sides apart this side and that side bearings bad you know it's it's missing some balls in there but for what I need to do this winter with it it's gonna work just fine for me uh it's it's not like i'm trashing a several thousand dollar disc i mean we're going we're going to rig it up like it was rigged up before and uh that'll give me time i'm making a list of what i need to order so i can fix it the right way we'll fix it the right way next year but for right now i need this thing to work so we're going to rig it up to where it will work so i don't i don't want to hear anybody tell me that's that's not how you do it because we're just trying to make it work for now so i'm gonna cut a spacer i'm out of threads on this one and the other side so i'm gonna cut a spacer so i can space this out same thing on the other side so i can space that that nut away that way i can pull these discs together tighter and all these disc blades aren't square holes anymore and that's a square shaft but the square shaft is also worn out where the disc blade rides so we're gonna go ahead and I know it ain't the right way, but we're gonna go ahead and weld it to the weld it all together to the spacers because the spacers aren't worth a damn anymore either. So the back the back disc gangs are in, in great shape. It's the front ones that are messed up. So we're gonna get it working for now. And I'm gonna make a parts list of stuff I need to buy to fix it correctly so I can fix it correctly later. But while it's dry enough for me to to do some disking, I'm gonna go ahead and get it done. So, let me cut a spacer. All right, so I cut me a little piece of pipe to make my own homemade um, extension for the end of this. It's pretty much the same thing you can buy, but homemade. So I'm gonna get this tightened up. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side and we'll set it down so I can get them good and tight. And then this back one, the bearing needs to be tightened up a little bit on. So I'm going to try those nuts on the back ones. I don't think they've ever been touched. So I'm going to try and see if we can get them apart. 
right, I'm gonna put this side together. Good. All right, good. I need to see how much of a spacer I need to make for over here until there was already a homemade one on there. So I need to get a tape measure, figure that one out. All right, so I need to cut one of those pieces of pipe at about, we'll say about three inches. So I'm gonna cut a piece of pipe at three inches. All right, got my piece of pipe. We're gonna spray some oil on that. Let me know that that is not gonna go on there. All right, try that again. I need a bigger piece of pipe. All right, so I went ahead and took this old one, stuck it on there. We're gonna stick the new one on with it. I went and cut a shorter one. And then I gotta line that up, get that in there. Get the new one on, and then the bolt started. Tighten it up. I have a feeling this side's not gonna tighten as easy as the other one. I have a feeling. Yep, I'm gonna have to turn the tractor on and set the disc on the ground. It's going though, slowly. I hate these square nuts. Alright, well, I guess, uh, yep. Alright, so spoke too soon. Like I told y'all, the back gangs are fine. This one's fine. It doesn't need anything. It probably wouldn't hurt it to get tightened up some. We'll try it, but this one, I saw the blade I'm just spinning the disc, even though I got it on the ground. So I'm gonna come over here to this end, weld something on here so it'll bulkhead itself to the ground, keep all this from spinning so I can try to get that bolt busted loose. And then while I get the welding machine out, weld all them blades together up there. All right, well, I got the blades welded as much as I'm gonna actually weld them. I welded a piece of bar on here to keep this from turning. And luckily, this bolt broke loose like it was nothing. So, I'm gonna take it off, get a spacer made, and we'll put that on. And I think that's about all we're gonna have to do to it. I got a couple spots on the frame that are cracked that need to be re-welded where it's bolted together it's also welded and, and in some spots it's the welds are broke so we're gonna get that taken care of all right so i got everything picked up i got that gang over there tightened up we're gonna we're gonna give it a test spot in a little spot over there where i stack hay here at the house because that's about the only place i have to test it but uh, i did figure out a, a name brand on this thing it is a the tags upside down but it is a love harrow by love tractor inc model ld9 so i'm gonna look that up and see if i can figure anything out on it this was a down and back pass it uh got pretty deep it, it made the tractor struggle a little bit right here in this spot but it's kind of wet right here too and then this was a down and back pass also but it's it's pretty wet we got quite a bit of rain yesterday and it's it went about knuckle deep That's better than it used to work. It'll, it'll fix some ruts for me. Alright, so overall, I hope it's going to work. Uh, we'll find out here in 
probably a couple weeks. It's supposed to rain this week, so it'll probably be too wet for me to to do the work I want to do with it next weekend. But we'll see. I'm probably just going to end up leaving it behind this forward, using it behind here. So for now, it looks like it's going to work, though. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, my instrument cluster comes in this week. You'll see that on another video. Once that part actually comes in, I'll have that video completed. But, that's... That is all for now.